What's up, y'all? So, um, we're about a week and a half in with this Dollar General account, and I already got my first paycheck uh, this past what, Friday, a couple days ago. Um, I haven't had a chance to make a video. I've been running around. Uh, today, we're actually off. We're not doing anything. I haven't received a load. I don't think we're going to get anything tomorrow since tomorrow's a uh, Monday. Um, it's a holiday, so... I'm not sure if they're gonna give us that day off too. But uh let's show y'all real quick my paycheck. Um and let y'all know exactly what is going on and what happened and uh what all entails. So um I basically did five to six loads. Um I think it was five, I'm not I can't remember exactly how many loads it was, but it was a. Uh, I think it was like eleven hundred dollars. I did take a hundred dollar advance, so that's probably why it was a little bit low. But I'll show y'all that right now. So as y'all can see in in the paycheck, um, I basically got a thousand thirty six uh, out of it. Um, it was an eighteen hundred dollar check. It was four hundred something. I actually it was actually sixteen something. Um, they, they I have the tuition reimbursement on there, so every I think once every month they put two hundred fifty and then they take out two hundred fifty. But the bad part about that is that you also pay taxes on those two fifty, so your taxes go up at, during that paycheck. Um, also, what else? Uh, that's why the deductions on there it shows a. Uh, it, it shows it on there that's why it's so much on the deductions um there's also a hundred dollar um advance that i took out on there so i basically worked the full week oh and also there was one load that i didn't get to finish i got to the distribution center like at one o'clock in the afternoon and i have to turn in that load before 12 in order to get paid for it on that that week so it would have been a lot more. It would have been at least four or five hundred dollars more had I done it, or had I gotten that load in. But unfortunately, I didn't. Um, so it wasn't bad. Uh, the first uh, few loads, um, I did feel it. Uh, there was one day where I did one and a half loads. It was great. Um, till about about two hours before I had to finish. My body, my body just started slowing down. The next day, I just could barely get up, and then I just got up instantly and just went. Um, now I'm at the point where I don't even feel anything. Um, I feel normal. Um, you do have to. I do recommend if you guys are gonna do this, is make sure you have a cooler with ice every day. Most of the uh, distribution distribution centers have a um, ice machine, so make sure you take ice with you because during these hot months man it's hot back there and you will pass out if you don't drink water and you don't stay fresh if you if you're sweating too much and you're not drinking water you are going to pass out the best thing to do is if you don't have enough water just go ahead and take a break let yourself cool off sit in front of a fan turn on the truck and then continue it works better that way you will get it done this last load i did it was so hot. It was 100 degrees outside, and in the van, it was probably at least 110 degrees, 115 degrees. So I just took my small breaks, made sure everything was good. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much the paycheck, the first paycheck. Um, I don't think my next paycheck is going to be as big. It could be, but I doubt it. Um, I've only done five loads. Um, that first week, I did two loads, which was like 400 dollars each um the, this week i've only done one another couple of three hundred dollar loads two hundred dollars a two hundred and nine dollar load so it'll probably be close to like sixteen hundred if i do a load on monday hopefully they give me a load tomorrow and that'll bring me up a little bit pay you know probably like twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars um but yeah everything's going good i'm gonna talk to uh I'm not from here. I'm not from Fulton, Missouri. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. So 
Uh, the guy told me, he said, if you like it, I'm going to talk to the guy um, down in San Antonio to put you in that uh, distribution center. So tomorrow I'm going to have a talk with him, see if he can get me down there. Because um, like time, like right now, I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting here. They don't have any loads. I finished yesterday like at 9. Right now it's probably like 5, 6 in the afternoon on a Sunday. Um, I don't know if they're going to give me a load tomorrow. If they don't give me a load tomorrow, then... That'll be two days straight that I've haven't done anything. So stuff like this, time like this, that it's not really considered time off. I could use it to spend time with my son. So that's basically really the reason why I want to go down um, to San Antonio. Um, I honestly think a lot of people think that OTR you can make a lot more money, but right now times are tough. Um, my first two weeks as OTR driver, I only made like six, seven hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, um, and there's no way I can survive on that. I need to make at least a thousand, eleven hundred a week to be able to pay everything that I have accumulated over the years. Um, so yeah. So yeah, um, that was basically my week. Um, this week. Uh, I think I got maybe five loads. Let me see. Give me one second. Because I know I got it here. Um, got it written down right here. Yeah, so let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five loads. One for 336, one for 171, one for 301, one for 273, one for 209. So, we're looking at what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve hundred bucks. Um, I honestly expect it to work today and also expect it to work tomorrow. Um, being that I didn't get any loads today, I don't think next week is going to be that great. But hopefully, hopefully, tomorrow they give me a load that has a backhaul on it just to kind of uh, offset that that cost of not working today because if i don't work today i would at least done 200 dollars. that would have put me at 14 plus um monday let's say it was a 250 to 300 dollars so i would have been 17 1800 dollars by monday end of monday and that would have been you know same as last week um and that's me taking it easy honestly um it got to a point where I was like, you know what? I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I don't have to, my body doesn't feel like it's struggling to unload these trailers. So I was, I felt like I was actually slowing down, but I actually wasn't. I was actually going at the same pace. Um, so at one point, one day, which was the day I did one and a half loads, I actually started running, taking everything out, putting everything back in. Uh, and I got through that day real quick. I think I picked up the load on the, in the, no, I picked it up the night before, but I didn't go far. I just came and parked here where I'm at right now, which is a petrol that's down the street from the distribution center. And I left like at nine in the morning, which actually is bad. You actually have to leave like at five in the morning, four in the morning to be able to get all your loads done. There are some stores that they have a restriction between four and nine where you have to be there between that time to unload. Um, but my store was eight in the morning, but I left at nine, uh, just overslept a little bit. And even though it was only a 12 hour shift and I was able to get everything done, I was able to do the first stop in an hour and a half. The second stop, I did it in about an hour and 20 minutes. And got back here picked that load up and then went to the first stop by the time i went to the first stop and keep in mind that trip was about a uh, 400 mile round trip um so it was a couple hours drive out there then another hour and a half and i did take a 45 minute break in between um got something to eat went to the se second stop then came back here picked up the other trailer did the first stop and that was the end of the day and I was actually trying to move a little bit fast, but if I wasn't to take any breaks, because I did take a couple of breaks during the 
drop off. But, but yeah, I mean, as far as what I was saying earlier, I think you can make more money in these dedicated accounts than you can in OTR when you're starting off. Um, you don't get as many loads when you start off in OTR, um, at least from what I've seen. Um, I was getting loads that were 150 miles, 200 miles, and I was doing them right away. Once I would get there, they wouldn't have a load for me, and I'd have to sit there hour and a half, two hours, doing nothing. And to be honest with you, I prefer to be unloading trucks and not making money because when you see your daily values when you calculate it and you're like oh this truck this trailer is going to give me three hundred dollars i need to get it done quick so i can get another trailer you know it motivates you a little bit versus otr you're in the loop you know um you deliver your load and you don't know if they're going to give you a load you just sit there and wait and ask them hey any available loads sometimes they'll be like we're checking give us a second and that second turns into hours and so on and so forth versus here once you deliver your load you go back to the distribution center drop off that trailer go into the office they have a basket with all the loads on it you talk to the your fleet manager there they'll sign you one real quick you go pick it up head on out sometimes before you even get to the distribution center They'll actually send you a message with your trailer number and the, the guard will have the basket and you just give them the trailer number and they'll give you paperwork. You go drop off the trailer, pick up the one you come in, you're, you're taken out, go to the gate, take off and you're all set. You don't even have to go up to the office because they're kind of separated. There's two different buildings. So sometimes you have to drop off the trailer, bobtail out of the distribution center up the hill to uh, another um, office that's where you pick up your paperwork and then go back into the distribution center but sometimes like i said they give you your trailer number so you and the guard actually has the all the paperwork so it makes it a lot easier when they do that um hopefully um san antonio is set up similar i actually live right down the street from the dollar general distribution center the new one they just opened up so that would be perfect for me um I'm just hoping it works out so but yeah it's all going good uh tomorrow i will upload another video uh we'll go through everything show y'all everything how everything goes and on a day-to-day -day basis well not day-to-day -day, we'll go from trailer to trailer um from start to finish and let y'all know you know what y'all have to do um, information you have to not information you have to send in but you know when you have to send your information in like when you arrive at a stop when you're dropping off what what type of information they actually require you to send in um, in order for you to be successful at this and not have any issues um, and there's some other things that I'll talk to y'all about when you're at the store that they want you to do certain things that you don't have to do it um, and I figured that out late, but um, I will let y'all know that on the next video. Um, I will be uh, recording it tomorrow, so probably Tuesday y'all will see it up, and I'll let y'all know um, how everything goes. But uh, but yeah, that was the week, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Hopefully, um, some of y'all get inspired by this video and actually do the Dollar General account or even a Dollar Tree, any dedicated account, honestly any dedicated account um there is one discrepancy about this dollar general account here in fulton missouri versus the one in san antonio they pay here at fulton 22.50 per stop and i noticed that the one in san antonio in texas they're paying 24.50 so two dollars more per stop if you add that up you know that can easily be 30 40 50 dollars you know off your check um in a week you know just that small difference um and that can be you know your food money i mean a lot of people don't i don't spend a lot of money on food i mean i buy you know um granola bars and stuff like that uh what do you call it protein bars a lot of drinks a lot of packets of water that's all really i eat i mean i'll eat a salad here and there but i don't eat heavy um just because i when i eat heavy i tend to want to go to sleep <laughs> And you can't do that here so 
But yeah, um, that's the only discrepancy that I saw as far as pay. Uh, 80 $87.50 per truckload to unload, plus $22.50 per stop. And most of the guys get paid somewhere around 40 something cents a mile. Um, I think mine is at 42, um, which is what I've been calculating it at. But, uh, but yeah, I'll catch y'all later, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.